All right, guys. Um, heading into Starkville, I just wonder the maybe the feel of the team uh, coming off that LSU game, Addison. Yeah, we just are excited. You know, uh, we're, we've gone out and had great days of practice, and you know, this is a, a, a good team that we're going to go against. Where they have our full focus and attention, and we're excited to go out there and uh, give the fans a good game and a, a good win. Yeah, Larry. If people look at Mississippi State's record, you know, maybe maybe is that a trap? Um, I wouldn't say it's a trap. Uh, just playing in the SEC, you can't really look at records. You know, everybody's good. So you got to play everybody the same, no matter what team, ranked, unranked, everybody's going to get a dog fight. Yeah, um, it's been a couple of weeks since you had that start against Tennessee, but what did that feel like, you know, really getting that action that you got in that game? Um, it felt great to uh, be able to put my talents on display and for my coaches to be able to trust me. It, it felt great to be able to make some plays and help the team out. Yeah. Hey, Addison, uh, two-part question. A, uh, how important is it for y'all to get the run game cranked back up after 38 against LSU? And then B, what's that running room looking like if um, if Jaquindon might not be able to run in this game? Yeah, uh, a huge, huge part, obviously, of our offense is running the football, and that's been a huge emphasis uh, this week for us. And just going out there and every day uh, – just making that a priority in practice. And I think we've done a great job of that so far. And uh, I think our running game is as is, is good as ever and will be, be great for us this weekend. And, you know, with the running back room that we have, uh, it doesn't matter who we give the ball to. They have our full trust, and we know that they're going to go out there and they're going to run the ball hard, fast, and physical. So um, if, if we have J.J., that's amazing. If, uh, if we don't, then, you know, the next guy up is going to do a fantastic job. Yeah, my last question. Sam Pittman told us Monday that he talked to Braylon about maybe getting an opportunity, more of an opportunity. He said, we got to let that horse eat or something like that. Uh, what are your thoughts about what Braylon might be able to do? Man, it, it would be great for him to run the ball. He's he's big, he's physical, he's hard to tackle, and he, he runs the ball really, really well. He does a great job. And I, I think that would be a, an amazing thing for him to be able to get the ball and run the ball for us. Like I said, he's big, physical, hard to tackle. That's a, a, one of those things you really want a running back. And uh, like I said, he has our full trust, and we know he's going to go out there and he's going to run that ball for the Hogs like nobody's business. Thanks, y'all. Bob, what do you got? Um, hey, guys. Hey, yes, it looks like you got a, a Ninja Warrior thing going there with, with that headband, huh? <laughs> um, yeah. Hey, uh, yeah. Andrew. Andrew. Yeah, hey, hey, I don't want to get a fight with you. Don't worry about that. Um, Andrew was on earlier. He's obviously having a, a big season. And I was just wondering what you guys think, of Andrew, you know, as a person, an older guy, and uh, and just the season he's having, what what he means to the team. Maybe Addison, you can take that first, and then Larry. Uh, yeah, a Andrew's a great guy. He's a, a great leader uh, on and off the field. Um, he uh, – brings a, a lot of energy and obviously a lot of talent to this team. And uh, he's a huge part of our offense. And he's had, as you said, an, an amazing season. And uh, very excited to see what he keeps bringing uh, to the table every week. Every week he just keeps bringing more and more. And uh, you can't ask more from the guy. Um, I'll just piggybacking off what Addison said. He's a great high-energy guy, you know. So he brings that energy to practice every day, even on game days, you know. As a defensive player, you love to see your offense go. So he kind of brings like a lot of high energy and gets us going on defense as well. Yes, and I should look this up. When you were at Tennessee, did, did you guys ever play Mississippi State? We did not. Okay, so so okay, so you're the center, and they're ringing those cowbells. I know they're not supposed to ring them supposedly when a center gets over the ball, and I guess they don't. I don't know. But have you guys been? I mean, as a center, what's your concern about the the cowbell effect? I guess have you guys been? Have they been playing cowbells in practice or just real loud music? Or how have you guys been getting ready for, for the cowbells? Yeah, so whenever we play an away game, we always practice with noise during practice. And obviously this week we are practicing with a crowd noise that involves cowbells. And uh, obviously it's something that we need to prepare for. And I think that uh, we'll be ready for it as, as a line. And especially me, I think we'll be, we'll be ready and, and not have any problems and issues with it uh, with our preparation through the week. And then Larry, that that freshman quarterback they got, uh, Van Buren, man, he's got throwing the fire play and played at Texas, at Georgia, playing the Aggies, but he's got pretty good numbers. I think he's had six touchdown passes the last two weeks and only two picks. Pretty good for a true freshman. Um, what, what what's your take on him and just what what impressions you about him, especially as a young guy? 
Um, what impresses me the most is that he's a freshman, first off, playing in the SEC, starting first off. And he's he's super talented, and he makes some good plays being a freshman. He's pretty poised back there in the pocket as a freshman, and that's something you rarely see. And and then then, then for both y'all, they I know you talked a little bit about the SEC. They, they've lost six in a row. They seem to be playing better. Do you, do you see these? Do you see them as a pretty dangerous team? Cause you just get the feeling they're going to beat somebody. I don't know who, and you don't want it to be you, obviously. Kind of what, what's your take on a team that's been losing but but playing better? On at least it looks like they are. Um, they're definitely a dangerous team. Just anybody, anybody in the SEC is a dangerous team. Like I told you, like no matter what week you play, one and six, oh, it don't matter the record. We we treat every team the same, undefeated, haven't won any games. It's going to be a dial fight no matter who you play. Addison, yeah, Addison, you got a thought on that? Yeah, 100%. You know, it's the SEC, and that's a, a conference that you can't take for granted, and you uh, can't uh, loosen up just by a record. You know, uh, just because they they're we're, we're go, they're going into a game, uh, you know, one and five, it doesn't mean anything for us. It doesn't change our preparation. It doesn't change how we view them because any team can be a winning team any week, and uh, we just we we can't and we won't and we haven't let that change our mindset going into this game. As, as going more for, for Addison, you know, they I know you, you're obviously still at center, but shuffled around. Uh, Harris and, and, and Blackstock last week, and, and Sam said he thought it, th they liked the look. Um, just th as a lineman, how, how, how'd that work for, for the rest of you guys? What what you think of that? Yeah, uh, obviously, we, we have trust in each other, all five of us, and uh, we, we, we've done a, a great job in the transition. You know, um, it hasn't – we haven't let it affect us. You know, we have trust in each other, and uh, we know that – you know, they're going to go out there and they're going to play the position the best of their ability. And, you know, it's exciting. Um, the coaches are doing something they think is best for the team, and we trust that. And uh, they've gone out there and they've done fantastic jobs transitioning to the new positions. Obviously, it's a difficult thing to transition positions. but They've gone out there and they've done an amazing job with the transition. Uh, they've just hit it in the mouth and uh, kept the ball rolling for through the season. No setbacks. Okay, th thanks, guys. Appreciate it. So thank you. Great, go ahead. You guys like the sound of those cowbells, or? <laughs> I don't think anybody liked the sound of those cowbells. No, no. <laughs> so y'all just been blaring it throughout practice, I guess, and just getting used to it? Yes, sir. Anything to get? Yeah, better get ready for it now than Saturday. Mm -hmm. Larry, I wanted to ask you about the, the two running backs, Daniels and Booth. It looks like those guys play pretty equal amount. Um, Toting the rock. What what do you see from those two guys? Are they different types of backs? What do they like to do? Um, they're pretty similar. They're a big stretch team. Get the ball outside. So both of them, I, I will give both of them their props. They're both dogs. Pretty good players and run uh run really well. Mm -hmm. Uh, how big of an adjustment is it for you guys? You played back to back um home games. Well, you've had a bye week, but back to back home games. Um in Fayetteville at night and now you're going to play an early game on the road. Is that is that change stuff for for just how you guys approach the game? That doesn't change anything. That green grass, the green grass at the end of the day, the same football, the lines are the same yards apart. So green grass, green grass at the end of the day. Addison, your thoughts on what those guys like to do up front on defense? Uh, yeah. They're a big movement team. They like to do a lot of games. It's a uh, Definitely different than things that we we we've seen a lot more of of it, uh, and I, th I think we've done a great job in our preparation so far. And you know we have a few more days to uh, get it down pat, and uh, I'm excited for it. It's a new challenge for us to go out there and uh, and and work a lot of movement in games. So it's exciting, an exciting week for the offensive line. Coach Pittman says he kind of wants to let Braylon eat this game. What are your thoughts on on his progress and? Um, I know I'm just a, a 250 pound back coming behind you guys. Yeah, uh, he's done an amazing job so far this season, and uh, I'd, I'd love to go see him eat. Uh, he's he runs the ball, like I said, fast, physical, hard, and you got 250 pounds behind that ball. It's difficult to tackle. So, like I said, it doesn't matter who they put behind us running that ball. Our running back room is good enough that no matter who runs the ball, it, it's going to be a successful run, and they're gonna they're gonna help make us look good and we're going to help make them look good. So it, I, I'd love to see him eat. I'd love it. Thanks, Hi, Daniel. Close it out.
Addison, um, Coach Pittman has kind of been teasing the return of Patrick Kudis all week. Um, I'm just wondering, for someone who also, you know, your injury was obviously different in short term, but mentally, kind of what are the specific challenges for someone up front coming back from an injury after not playing for so long? Yeah, uh, one thing that Patrick's done a great job of is he hasn't let that uh, affect him. He came back to practice, and it's almost like he hadn't skipped a beat. Uh, and, you know, you, you'd think that someone would have to come back and, you know, knock the rust off, and uh, he, he just hasn't had to do that. He's he's come back, and he's a great effort. It's been he's He's got fresh legs, so it's, it's been great to see him run out the, go out there and run fast, physical. And uh, he's just he's done an amazing job and we're really excited for him to get back. We know he wanted to get back and uh, to be able to finally see him get back and, and get some get some snaps and get out there and practice and play football has been really exciting for us. And I know it's been great for him. Appreciate it. All the best Saturday. Yes, sir. Yeah, for Dave Down. Saturday.